IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 412, The Greenhouse Effect. Using the labels on the diagram, A, A represents UV light from the sun. Think of this as being short wavelength or high energy. B, B represents the fact that about 50% of this light is reflected back out into deep space and the main cause of this reflection are things like clouds. C, C represents absorption on the Earth's surface where the UV light is converted and emitted as uh, infrared. This is D. So in D, we see the infrared light, which is longer wave. We see it being emitted back outwards. And now some of this is lost to space as heat. And then we start to get to the greenhouse effect, so-called greenhouse effect. F represents some of the greenhouse gases, such as water vapor, uh, CO2, and we've got methane up here, CH4, and so on. These are typical greenhouse gases. And what happens here is that they emit what what happens is that the infrared light let's illustrate that infrared like this this hits the greenhouse gas let's just draw the molecule like this a little bit and it will absorb this energy but then what it does is it re-emits it but perhaps crucially it does so in all directions including downward and so it remits infrared but it redistributes with some of those gases going downwards to the surface raising the surface temperatures just that little bit higher and this is the greenhouse effect There is the concept of the enhanced greenhouse effect. In which if we raise the levels of pollutant gases such as carbon dioxide and methane, then the idea is that they will absorb more of the escaping infrared radiation and emit this backwards towards the earth, raising the temperatures higher so that the higher temperatures then lead to climate change. This is the hypothesis of this idea of the enhanced greenhouse effect. CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons, um, are well known for their effect on the ozone layer. So in the atmosphere there's a layer of gases O3 and a little bit of chemistry here so we have carbon uh, fluorine or chlorine so one of the gases has the form of carbon Cl3 F and this can break down with sunlight so C Cl3, uh, Cl2 rather, Cl2, F minus plus Cl minus. Now this is very different to uh, chlorine gas, very different. And this catalyzes the breakdown of O3 to O2. 
Now the significance of this is that O3 is much better at absorbing UV light than this is. And so we are effectively removing the protection of the ozone effect. And this is associated with chlorofluorocarbonate. There are various protocols which exist in which the CFCs use certain things like solvents and propellants and refrigeration has been reduced in an attempt to overcome the depletion of the ozone layer.